Hello everyone, this is Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Red Lion Controls, continuing our series on Crimson 3.1. Let's take a look at the flag tag we created in the last episode. We're going to go ahead and use that to create a light primitive that turns on when it's true and turns off when it's false. So I went to Display Pages in the Navigation pane. Our editing pane is here. I'm going to drag this a little bit to give me more room. I'm going to go to the Resource pane where there are resources for me to be able to design my HMI screen. So if I go to uh, primitives and come down to indicators. That's where I have a variety of lights. Let's choose this one and I want a green light. Green for on. I go ahead and drag it over. Nothing happens because I haven't assigned um, the tag light on to this light. So how do we do that? We go to properties and this is where we'll put that tag. I can type light on in here and it recognizes it as a tag. I can also uh, go to data tags. Remember the resource pane gives us everything that we need for whatever we're in in the navigation pane. And I can click and drag light on over. All right. Now I have to have a way to turn that light on or off. So I'm going to come back to home and I'm going to go to my toggle switches. So it's a two state system. It's either on or it's off. So let's give it a light switch. So I'm going to drag this here. Again, there's nothing assigned to this yet. So we have to either right click and go to properties or press alt enter. And in that value field is where we're going to also put light on. So the light will light up when uh, light on is true and it will be dark when light on is false and the way we control that is with that switch. Let's go ahead and send that down to our uh, HMI and if I turn the light on, it's true, the light turns on and that's how flag tags work. Look for more tips and tricks in our next episode.